Hello everyone, welcome to Ecoholics. In this video, we will be studying learner's measure of monopoly power and we'll also be deriving the relationship between learner's index and price elasticity of demand. So, let's first understand what is monopoly power? So what is monopoly power? Monopoly power tells us how much a producer or seller has control over the price and quantity of a product. It is not just in case of pure monopoly that we have monopoly power. In other market structures also, we have monopoly power. But the difference only is in the amount of monopoly power, that is the degree. In case of uh, oligopolistic market structure and also in case of monopolistic competition, we have monopoly power. So, what is learner's index of monopoly power? So, let's look at the two situations first. First, under perfect competition. So, what learner says is that perfect competition is the state of social optimum. Or we can also say that in case of perfect competition, we have maximum welfare. Why is it so? Because in case of perfect competition, we know that we have this condition. Price is equal to marginal cost is equal to MR. Since price is equal to marginal cost, learner says that perfect competition is the state of social optimum or in case of perfect competition, we have the maximum welfare. Now, let's study another condition that is under monopoly, pure monopoly. So, in case of pure monopoly, we have or we can say imperfect competition. So, we know that in case of monopoly, we have our diagram like this. So, in case of pure monopoly, what we have is We have our demand curve, which is average revenue curve, and we have marginal revenue curve, which lies below our AR curve. And the condition for equilibrium is that, let's say this is a marginal cost curve. So the equilibrium condition would be this. MC is equal to MR and second condition is MC curve cuts MR curve from below that is so our equilibrium in case of monopoly would be this point and how do we determine price in case of monopoly so perpendicular to the AR curve gives us a price. So in this case what do we get is that we have this situation. Price is greater than MC is equal to MR. So this is our condition in case of monopoly. So the divergence that is between price and marginal cost, this according to learner is monopoly par. So I'll write down over here. So learner's index is equal to P 
minus m c upon p. So this is learner's index. And it is because of this divergence between price and marginal cost we have our monopoly power, or what is the learner's index of monopoly power. Now let's look at um, both the situations now. So what we have seen in case of perfect competition. So first we will be looking at perfect competition. So this is our first case. So what is learner's index of monopoly power? Learner's index of monopoly power is equal to price minus marginal cost divided by price. Now we will look. So what is going to be a uh, value of learner's index in case of perfect competition? Let's find out. So. Now, we already know that in case of perfect competition, our price is equal to marginal cost. So this is our condition in case of perfect competition. So substituting this, what we get is? So learner's index would be equal to, so P minus MC, Therefore, this becomes equal to 0. So what do we get is in case of perfect competition, learner's index is equal to 0. Similarly, we will also find the value of learner's index in case of monopoly. So this is in case of pure monopoly to be specific. So in case of pure monopoly, what happens is that a marginal cost is equal to zero. That is there is no cost of production in case of pure monopoly. So with this condition, let's find out the value of learner's index. So learner's index in case of pure monopoly will be equal to P minus MC upon P. So now since marginal cost is equal to zero, that is we have zero cost of production in case of pure monopoly. So because MC is equal to zero, what we have is P upon P and this is nothing but equal to 1. So we have seen that in case of perfect competition, our value of learner's index is equal to 0 whereas in case of pure monopoly, our value is equal to 1. So since these are the two extreme conditions, what we can conclude is that learner's index lies between 0 and 1. Now, what we can again conclude is Now, we have seen that a learner's index is price minus marginal cost upon price. So this is what is learner's index. So greater the divergence between price and marginal cost greater is going to be the monopoly power and greater is going to be the value of our learner's index. So this was a simple observation that we can uh, conclude. Next. Next is learner's index of monopoly power and price elasticity of demand. So we are going to find a relationship between them. So what we have seen is A learner's index is 
इक्वल टू प्राइस माइनस मार्जिनल कॉस्ट अपॉन पी सो दिस इज व्हाट इज लर्नर्स इंडेक्स ऑफ मोनोपोली पार बट वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट एट इक्विलिब्रियम we have marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue so substituting mc is equal to mr what do we get as we get a learners index as this will be equal to p Minus M R upon P. So this is what we get. Now we know a very important relationship. That is, marginal revenue is equal to P one minus one upon E, where E is the price elasticity of demand. this relationship we have already studied in our previous video so you can refer that video now uh, substituting mr is equal to p 1 minus 1 by e what do we get as we get a learners index as so learners index would be equal to P minus P one minus one upon price elasticity of demand divided by P. So this is what we get. Now, what we got was. we got this p minus p 1 minus 1 upon e divided by p so from the numerator we can take p common to simplify our calculations so taking p as common what we get is 1 minus 1 minus One upon e whole divided by p. So now this p this p gets cancelled. What remains is one minus one plus one upon e. So again one and one gets cancelled. That is one minus one is zero. What remains is one by e. So what do we get is Finally, we got that. So, our learners index is equal to one upon e. That is learners index and price elasticity of demand are inversely related this is the relationship between learners index and price elasticity of demand this is one of the most important relationship so what we can conclude is that price elasticity of demand would be higher learners index of monopoly power would be small this is what we have derived that's it for this video for more such videos do like and subscribe our channel thank you